Motor City Kitties. First pitch is fouled straight back, and we are underway. 97 out of the gate from Luzardo. Yeah, because they watched him strike out 13 in his last outing. And only a couple of guys in the line. Okay. And a backhand play by Birdie. Loads and throws and gets now. Swings and misses. Chased a fastball up and out of the zone. Went down into the uh, top. Absolutely love you. That one to third. Takes a funky hop and losing. Deals a 1-0 to Torkelson. Who takes a little bit inside. Just to finish that thought real quick. Popped up back now to play. And, you know, it's one thing, I suppose, if you're A.J. Hinton. Best uh, pickups by Kim Ang in spring training in the offseason. Been a lot. He's here. Fastball or the breaking pitch. Went change piece. Payoff pitch coming. And Torkelson out in front. That one hooks foul. See. Instead, a little bit better. The ground ball to short and the 6 4. First pitch, a 95 mile an hour fastball. So, Rod, it appears that from the left side of Velo, but we got two in the building today. And the first couple of pitches by Scooble. Any previous looks against Scooble? This one a roller to second base. And Ibanez makes the play, one down. The left elbow. Fouled away to the seats right side off the bat of Brian De La Cruz. Field assist yesterday in right field. He's played a nice right field. So he's having a, a really nice year. Ten of those RBIs have come in his last 14. One ball and one strike to Garrett Cooper. You see Rogers got that one knee on the ground. The ball better, I guess. Good pitch right there. That's what Scooble can do. He'll speed your bat up. DH this afternoon. Takes one down and away. One for four in the series with a. And taken upstairs at 97 miles an hour. Beyond. 3 2 pitch coming. And Cooper down on strikes. Riley Green to lead things off. Takes one outside. It'll be Green, Baez, and Rogers do up here in the second. Fastball misses away, 2-0. Really just a couple of misses. Didn't slide very much. Back from a 3-1 count. And misses down and away. Certainly a guy to be careful with. And Riley was in the series. And takes outside. One ball and one strike. I know that uh, Johnny Cueto was really. Ground ball, second base, bobbled by a rise. Safe at first. In this batting order. He's already thrown one double play ball. Strike at 98, bottom of the zone. Yeah, right now you're thinking strikeout. Got the first half. Rogers looking for. At the plate, and Lazardo told me, yes, getting to go up against guys like. Mike Trout and like Shohei Otani, that's be not now. Right now he's just trying to get him out. But looking back later today or next week or year. Now the right field line foul, a ball and two strikes. That was a. There's the bouncing ball to third. Close play at second is safe, so two away. And because of two. It extends the inning. Ardo. Great changeup right there to even things up. Two balls, two strikes. A little bit up and away and able to check that swing. So three ball. Payoff pitch on the way. Slider misses in the dirt, so the bases are loaded. Second walk of the day. That's why he threw the changeup. Good pitch to start him out. Owen. Fifth pitch of the inning is the last one he needs to get the strikeout and work out of a bases loaded jam. Streak of his career. Up the first base line. Can he beat this one out? This late April. I forgot to ask you though, what you got on Birdie batting cleanup today? Well, I mean. Rogers behind the plate has a, a really good throwing arm. And 
Avi hits it sharply right at Torkelson. That's one. And Way off. 106.9. <laughs> the man has been around the game for a while, kids. It's so unfortunate because that's a pretty good at bat by uh, Garcia. First one coming back off the injured list. If he continues to do that, Paul, we. As Guriel skies one, shallow right, third, and the other two categories. He's been fantastic. Again, when it comes to ERA, that's probably the, the first area. 322 earned run average coming in. If the season ended today, if nothing else, Rod, I think he'd get some. And a changeup, and he's got bound presence. He's not afraid. He's already thrown quite a few pitches in this contest, however. Up to the order, Matt Beerling, Andy Ibanez, Spencer Torkelson do up. That one misses outside, two and two. And seven inside misses. That plays. See, when a hitter knows the fastball is coming, and they still are tar fastballs this year. It's just 246 as Veerling takes the changeup low, and that's the third wall. Maybe pitching to contact, and it's going to be trouble. It gets down, and trouble, but a break for the Marlins because it wouldn't be the first time. A lot of 30 page papers in college with not much information in the rod. A double left the Tigers in business. This is a ground ball wide of third, one and two. If you take a look at the Marlins infield, the depth. There's the bounce. Trickles into center field at second, but then held up at the last moment. A step back. And that redirects off of Luzardo's glove. Arise comes home and they get the out. Opportunity here where Luzardo's trying to get himself a double play ball to limit some of the damage. This one in the air, shallow right. Luzardo with 97. Leads him upstairs, nothing in one. And Cabal bounces off the wall. One run's going to score. No throw. Miguel Cabrera on the year. Or on the, that would be quite the season. On the uh, career for Miguel Cabrera. The one's been an off-speed pitch. And the walk to lead off the inning was a 3-2 changeup. Against fastballs. But there the slider gets the strikeout. Tigers get four in the end. Just foul outside of first. But he was 94. The Tigers want to see a little bit more of. That one misses low. Two balls, two strikes. Power. Just by going straight down with that shoulder and that glove going toward home plate instead of going toward third base. Good at bat here by uh, Gene Segura. They're going to need some more good at bat here in the third. And you'll see another one. Up gets that one, but a fly ball out to left field. Goes after the first one, fouls it away, right side. 